Hello everyone and happy new year. Welcome to 2025. And I just want to use this moment to appreciate everyone that interacted with my videos, my content out there in the year 2025 and 2024 last year. I want to say a big thank you for those of you who liked and all my videos. Thank you so much. So in today's tutorial, we want to look at how we can build a brief, briefly, quickly, uh, a simple Angular custom input component. And how we're going to do that is Angular has been on a memento for a while now, and there's been lots of features out there. So we want to juxtapose all of these features together. And so what you're going to learn in this video, you're going to learn how to build a flexible, reusable input component using Angular latest features. You're going to see signals in action. You're going to see the new input and model syntax, and also the new control flow. By default, all of our components are standalone. Also, we're going to be adding number validation with maximum let constraints. We're going to create a component that can handle text, password, numeric inputs, while also maintaining clean, modern Angular practices. All right, so let's dive into the demo. Right here, you can see we have three inputs, one for username, one for password, and another one for pin. For the password, if I type in the password, I can show or hide that as well. And then type in the pin. You can decide to increase the length of the pin using maximum length that we're going to see shortly. And also, you can, you know, allow holy numbers, holy numbers, obviously, because we're accepting pin and numeric values only. All right, so let's dive into the code. All right, right here, I have a simple custom input demo um, page open right here. And first of all, let me just copy the styles for uh, input component. But for that, let's just create a component ng c and we call this custom input, like so. All right, so we have here um, the basic template for when you create a new application. All right, so that, that's good. So let's go over here to our um app.component and remove all of this leaving only the router outlets okay then here we're going to import a new component which is the custom input custom input component like so and let's see the selector so this is the selector for this and I'm going to put it right here, like so. All right, so let's continue. You can see here um, custom input works. Okay, so first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and add our styles. I'm going to add the styles for the custom input, paste it right here. Okay, we have that, and so let's go ahead and build. And also, we need to add some SVGs, so let's create that for the SVG, and then we need the NGC I slash. All right, so for the I, let's go over here and paste this for the slash. Go over here as well and paste this. Okay. Okay. Nice. So let's come over here. Um, first of we want to um have our container. So we'll just do the div. Alright. We have our container. View container. You can also add a class of error. Just in case we have errors. And okay, let's leave this now. Let's go to our custom input. .ts. So basically here, let's create a couple of types first. All right, so over here, let's go ahead and just import a couple of things but the common module all right so let's go to our variables all right so we want to add a type uh input
you have this great and let's add let's listen in so we have our own impute change and this takes the event type event all right and so we do cost imputes cost event to target like so then we say let the value cost to impute value so for this we want to check if this dot type right is equals to number okay then we have this rejects to it all right we also want to check for the max length if this dot max length okay then what do you want to do we want to say input dot value then this so we update model value then we set it as the input value okay else this dot model value dot set value okay cool let's add our toggle password toggle password and so we did this dot password signal this dot show password signal date and date and the value we do this not value okay I think we're pretty much done here so let's go over to template all right so for the template you can add all of this just go ahead and copy this if you want to add an icon um you want to add an icon on your input you can do that then we come over here and then we add our input and so we are doing this all right okay i think that's pretty much it so let's go to our parent component which is app component and add all of this there
placeholder is going to be enter five digits pin. Okay, I think that works. All right. So let's see. Okay, let's try this. Okay, enter the name John Baron and this. This okay it works. So let's say doesn't take in numbers and doesn't take in text. Um, takes in five digits. Okay, I think this works pretty well. All right. I think that's all for this tutorial. You can go ahead and see how you can get the values. Um, if you want another tutorial on this, let me know. But so far, we've seen signal in action. We've seen how we can make our component reusable and can be used elsewhere. All right. So um, I see how we've used the input and all of these guys to ensure that we have a clean and reusable model input. All right. That's all, folks. Um, catch you on the next one. Once again, Happy New Year. Bye for now.